Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Step Ahead with Ishan. So friends, today we are going to talk about population dynamics. Population Dynamics All the people who live in a particular area is referred to as the population of that area. The total population of the world was 7 billion in 2011. According to the census of India 2011, the total population of India was 1.21 billion. Now let us talk about distribution of population. The number of persons living in a particular area or a state is called distribution of population. The distribution of population of a state can be expressed in absolute numbers or in percentage to the total population of the country. Population is not evenly distributed anywhere in the world. People mostly live in those areas which are accessible, productive, and rich in natural resources. More than 90% of the world's population live in about 10% of the total land surface. The number of persons living on one square kilometer area is called density of population. The density of population varies from one area to another. Some areas have more than 1000 persons living on one square kilometer of land whereas many areas are inhabited. Now here is the image coming which shows you the distribution of population all over the world. According to the distribution of population, we can roughly divide the world into three regions. First, thickly populated areas. Second, moderately populated areas. Third, sparsely populated areas. Thickly populated areas. The fertile river valleys and the industrial regions are densely populated. Eastern and Southern Asia are densely populated. This is because intensive cultivation is practiced here. The warm climate and fertile soil favor the cultivation of crops amount throughout the year. Moreover, the labor-intensive industries have also developed in most of the countries in these regions. In Western Europe and East Central North America, the main reasons for high distribution of population are mineral resources, development of industries, and climate suitable for human habitation. Every country of the world has some pockets of thickly populated areas. These are mostly the metropolitan urban areas. Moderately populated areas The moderately populated areas are mostly found between the densely and the sparsely populated areas. Most of these areas have developed new industries, facilities for irrigation and mining. Thus people have migrated and settled in these areas. The moderately populated areas do not form a continuous belt. Central USA, tropical West Africa, southern parts of Russia, Eastern Europe, Deccan Plateau of India, Central China and parts of South America are moderately populated areas. In these regions, people have migrated from other areas due to favorable natural and economic factors. Sparsely populated areas. The sparsely populated areas are the hot deserts, cold deserts and the high mountainous area. Tundra region in the north, the thickly forested areas of the Amazon and the Congo basins as well as the Sahara desert have sparse population.
Here, the physical environment is not favorable for human habitation. Factors affecting the distribution of population No single factor can define the uneven distribution of population in the world. It can only be explained through the interaction of different physical, social, cultural and economic factors. The physical factors include relief, climate, natural vegetation, soil and availability of water. Other factors include mineral deposits, industries, transportation, urbanization and migration. Relief The plains support more population than the mountains. This is because the steep mountain slope restricts the availability of agricultural land and growth of industries, transportation and settlements. Thus, the Ganga Brahmaputra plains of India are densely populated than the Himalayas. Climate Temperature and rainfall influence the concentration of population in any area. Extreme climate discourages concentration while moderate climate favors human settlement. Thus, most of the population of Canada lives in a narrow belt in the southern part which has relatively warm climate. Natural vegetation Dense and inaccessible forests grow in hot and humid areas. Such dense vegetation discourages industries and human habitation. Therefore, the Amazon and the Congo River basins are sparsely populated and have no large settlements. Soil The fertile alluvial and black soils are suitable for agriculture as compared to desert, mountain and laterite soils. Thus, alluvial and black soils transportation can support more population. The development of ancient civilization in the river valleys was due to the fertile soil. At present, the introduction of new farming techniques and fertilizers have changed the impact of soil in some areas to some extent. Availability of water Rivers are an important source of fresh water. They supply water for domestic uses, agriculture, industries and transport. Thus, people tend to settle in the river valley, even in desert. Permanent settlements are found around oases due to the availability of water. Mineral Deposits The areas rich in mineral deposits attract people. This results in higher density of population in the mining areas. For example, the gold mines in Australia attracted people to this otherwise barren desert's land. Industries The development of industries in any region provides employment opportunities. Thus, people migrate to such areas not only from the surrounding areas but also from far off places. The industrial areas support a very high density of population as in the northeastern USA. Transportation The economic activities flourish in those areas which have an educate and efficient network of transportation. Most of the cities are located either in the plains or along the coast, which provide educate transportation facilities. Thus, such places are thickly populated. Urbanization The urban areas have diverse economic activities and provide better living conditions than the villages. Thus, people migrate to the cities in search of work. Urban areas have more than 5,000 persons living on per square kilometer of land. Migration Sometimes the government policies cause migration of people from one region to another. Under the British rule, the Indians were sent to Malaya, Fiji and Mauritius to work on plantations. The blacks that were from Africa were brought to work on farms in America. 
सो फ्रेंड्स ना इट्स टाइम टू एंड दिस सेशन होप यू गाइज लाइक डेट एंड एम डेट सो देन प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड डू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू ताकि आपको सारी नोटिफिकेशन सबसे पहले मिले और जैसा कि आप लोग जानते ही हैं कि अब मैं इंस्टाग्राम और फेसबुक पे भी आ गया हूँ तो वहाँ पे भी मुझे प्लीज फॉलो कर दीजिएगा सो टिल देन स्टे होम स्टे सेफ जय हिंद जय भारत